I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Before we start, just a massive shout out to James Welch, Basic Terror, Cole Zang, Clone 13, Fuzel CC, Jet Simon, Olivia Bernier, Arthur Wawajas, Retro Galaxy, Fan Van, Amari Lewis, and Mark Games, and Seth Kerbal for supporting my game dev journey. If you want to become part of the Patreon family, get your name on the board and receive free pixel art tile sets and royalty free music every month, there is a link in the description to check out the tiers on offer. Hey guys, welcome back to Castlevania Remake. Today we are going to build out the level because we have pretty much all the basic components now required to build the first room, which is stairs and doors. So let's go over and take a look at what level one kind of looks like and see if we can build something similar. So it's pretty flat. Candles and enemies. Stairs. First weapon. Stairs and a ledge. Uh, we need to add a destructible block and door at top. So we don't need these right here. They can go right back there. We don't need the, the stairs straight away. It's going to be pretty flat to start with. So let's pop the stairs over there. And again, this isn't an exact clone of the game, but let's see if we can do something similar. Uh, I'm not going to put another staircase going up again because the staircase that I built is pretty big. We could shrink it down, but again, it's not a like for like. You could make your room a little bit taller if you wanted to, but I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to drag out a copy of that. And over on the size with the width 120, I'm going to make it minus 120, which will basically reverse it. And the height, I'm going to make it minus 16. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it at the minus 120 for the width and I'm going to drag that out to there because I need to make it match up exactly. I'm going to change the grid size to four by four just so I can bring it up. So it's exactly on that right top corner. And then I'm just going to clone that top one there, pop that across roughly in the same place same for the bottom one roughly in the same place and the same for this one and I'm just going to rotate this one send that to the back just for my OCD so it looks the same okay let's give that a test goes up Oh, why did that not? There's something quite wrong with that one, but that works just fine. Walks through the bottom. There's a few little bugs with that staircase, and I think the reason for it is if on stairs, stair set jump through enabled. So we're not specifying which stairs. So we just need to simply do a pick nearest. So select that whole block, push B on the keyboard, drag that above the S, double click, click stairs, and then pick, pick nearest furthest, pick nearest, and that's going to be nearest to the player, dot X. It could be player base, but player's fine, because they're roughly in the same place. And then you can drag both of those things down into there. So we're going to pick nearest to the player, up the stairs. It's not going over and I, okay, I see why. There. That should be fine. It's because the collision box was blocking me. Uh, it still seems to be blocking me. Okay. I think I'm going to need to take snap to grid off and I just want to nudge that down so it's pretty much exactly in line with the corner there. Do the same with that one. Uh, 
And I can move that one back. Let's see if that works. I don't know why that's not working. It was working fine before. We didn't really change anything with that. Oh, oh I jumped onto it. That's fine. There we go. Walks me down the other side and goes back. Although we're still not, it's still not picking it up. Okay, I think we may need this. Copy that. So all, all, all I've done is hold down control, selected the whole thing, hold down control, drag out a copy and nest it in under elf, uh, elf, else, nest it in under else. So again, we're going to pick the nearest, delete the two lines that were there and then drag these two into that one. Hmm. Why is that not working? Is it the collision box? Okay. It might be the collision box because you can see the, the red line here. This is a, effectively the bit that's going to go solid. It's not touching the ground. So if I stretch that down, again, that's why I use a sprite so I can make those kind of minor adjustments. If I stretch that down now, that should fix the problem because it is going solid. There you go. Perfect. I think I will move this slightly closer because he start. This is when he starts to go into slow mo. I think I'm going to move that over to there so it mirrors the other side. I don't know why I didn't pick that up to begin with. Everything else though looks pretty decent to me. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we've got the ascending and descending stairs. Um, we've got. We're going to need more stairs over here. So let's just copy that again. I'm going to drag a box around it. Hold down Control, and I'm going to drag out a copy. Oh, but before I do that, delete that, I'm going to turn snapping back on and I'm going to set it back. Actually, no, I'm not going to turn snapping back on because it's going to put it in into places that I don't want. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to drag a copy out and I'm going to place it in manually. Um, I'm going to get rid of that first whole door section because we only have one. We're only going to need one and it's going to be at the top of this next set of stairs which is going to be over here at the end of the level. And again, make sure that that green box is lined up with the floor. There. Great. And again, we can nudge these things into, into alignment if we need to. Now I'm going to take this section. I'm going to drag it back here. Uh, I can turn snapping back on now because I do want these to be snapped into place. There. This now only needs to be that high. And this one. Um, in fact, why did I do that? that <clears throat> um in fact that's that might be a bit too far let's just drag it back because we're going to want to tween through into the next room um i'm going to shrink that down a little bit again it doesn't matter how big that red block is because that's basically how far a player is going to walk let's bring that through to there and off the screen um, I'm not going to build the second part of the level here. Um, I don't know if I will at all, to be honest. Put that down there. Um, and then, just so it's all aligned, I'm going to nudge it across. Just so that the squares match up. There we go. I mean, this could be like another little room, or you could just block that out entirely with, with blocks. Let's just do that for now. There we go. Now we should be able to kind of walk through this and it should just function. And that's a good thing about building these kind of little mechanics individually. So we can now just move them around and build our level however we want. Oh, go up the stairs, go down the stairs. Attack monsters, miss the stairs, 
get stuck in dead end. Again, we'll, we'll fix this collision thing later. Upstairs, hit door, go through, and why did that not work? Okay, I just figured it out. The cam zone needs to be right over the door here. There's got to be that whole area because, and I even read it out, every tick set the camera to lerp if we're not overlapping the, the cam zone. So we have to overlap the cam zone for this, not for the camera, to not over, sorry, not lerp above the player. So just simply by dragging that across, now we're overlapping it, it tweens through just fine, and away we go. I can't believe that um took me so long to figure that out and you probably saw that you were probably looking at my events going you idiot it's exactly right there when are you going to figure this out but i figured it out now so hooray for me right we've got the level design this is what we want now we just need to make it look a little nicer um so we're going to need to design a good looking staircase we're going to need to design a better walking up the stairs animation. In fact, one thing that has been bothering me that I want to fix right now is the length of the whip. Um, it just, it's not very good. Like the In the original, like the whip would come out to like here. It's like way longer than this. So I'm going to fix this right now. Uh, and also I don't like the, the kind of the coil here. Again, let's look at the original whip attack. You can see it kind of, it, it's a bit meatier. It comes from right behind him and it whips out far in front. So let's just fix that now. So let's select just the whip animation, click on the two arrows and the width of this, and we're going to apply it to the whole animation. The width is now going to be 48. So now you can see all the frames have changed, but not on any of the other animations, which is exactly what we want. Now, I'm going to, on the first frame, select the whole thing, Control-X, Control-V to repaste it, and I'm going to move it two pixels to the right, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. There. Actually, he needs to go one further. There. Uh, that's the same animation. So I'm just going to delete that one and then I'm going to reduplicate that one. And then this one to there. And then this one, same again, which is the same as the first one. I'm going to move it to the right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is extend the whip. So I'm going to just select the end of it, push X and then V, and I'm going to extend it right out to maximum width there and I'm going to copy that and the original whip it looks more like a chain so we're going to do the same thing so I'm just going to do that because that looks a little bit better and then if I I think What will it look like if I take out those ones there? Does that more, look more like a chain to you? Leave a comment. Let me know. I mean, you can um, you can design yours however you however you please. Uh, yeah, I think that looks better. I want I want to I'm going to make a call. I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to push C on the keyboard. And I'm going to oh, delete that one, paste in the other one. Right, now let's make this a little bit better. So his arm is going to start from up here and it's going to be bent back like, like that.
that is better. And get rid of that. That's that is infinitely better. But I think we need another animation. I think we need kind of one an in between from there to there. Um, let's just collect that dark color. And now the light color. So I'm going to select that first frame and I'm going to duplicate it because that's going to be the end frame. Delete that one. Uh, this one I'm happy with. I just want to take out some of the white here. And then add in these ones there I like that and now I need this in between one so I'm going to duplicate that and I am going to delete oh I'm going to delete all of that and his arm now is going to be forward well kind of in the mid the mid range So it's going to kind of be up here. There we go. And I'm just going to use the dark color. There. And then I'm going to get the light color. I'm going to do every other one. And then we're going to go around the outside. Just to there. That's a little bit better. It's like he's pulling it up. And then whap. Coil back. And I think we're going to duplicate that again and add the in-between in at the end as well. And that looks much nicer. Just a bit of shading needed under the arm. I think probably there to round it off. And again there. Although he seems to be missing his backpack in this frame. So let's go ahead and put that in. And in there. It doesn't have to show a lot in that one because his arm's going to be covering it. But then I need to delete the last two and copy the first two out, duplicate them, and pop them in again at the end. The other way around, there. There we go, that's better. Yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. What I think I might do as well, again, I'm never satisfied with my art. I'm going to move the head back slightly on that first whip. Honest, 
it's done that glitchy thing again. Duplicate. Come out so we can save it. Yeah, that's an annoying little glitch within Construct that sometimes it doesn't doesn't save. Okay, move the head back a tad. I think the both the both frames here need to be the same. Move it back and then cut a fat corner. That's better. Yeah, I quite like that. That's a much better attack. Now let's just make sure the bounding box is correct. This is good. We don't want the bounding box over the whip because we don't want, when we set up collisions, when we say that um, if the enemies hit the player, the player is going to take damage. If we're in attack and they hit the whip, we don't want the bounding box to be um, that collision box because effectively they'll run into our whip and we'll take damage. Uh, I am going to just nudge these back a couple of frames because I don't want them behind the player too much either. Again, we don't want to make it unfair to the point where it's too easy to take damage because that just gets frustrating and then people won't play our game. Everything needs to be in favor of the player. So my advice would be make hitboxes slightly smaller than they need to be to give the player the benefit of the doubt. I don't know what you're saying. You could just do it once and then select apply to the whole animation but what would the fun be in that and i'm sure you guys love watching me nudge these little boxes in and i don't even mind if it's not exactly the same on every single one there we go yeah, I'm happy with that. It doesn't matter that some are slightly off, as long as it's roughly over the player, so when we know when we're taking damage. Okay, good. Save that. Let's see what that looks like when I hit the attack button in-game. So much nicer. That is so much smoother. When we get a good whip sound effect on that as well, that's going to look absolutely lovely. Uh, right, now we need a walk up the stairs animation. So let's double click back into the player. Uh, let's just duplicate the walk one. So right click, duplicate. And I'm going to call this one stairs and for the stairs one, his head is going to be slightly lower. So let's just drop his head down. And again, we've oh, we've got that doubling up of pixels in here, which I don't like. So we'll take that middle one out. Um, his knees are going to be, or his, I think his arms are going to be bent a little bit more. As if he's kind of jogging or exerting a bit more effort. Yeah. I think I'm going to delete the other three here. I want to start afresh with it. I'm going to bring the back leg in. To there and I'm gonna make the front knee a little higher and I want it to be leaning forward more
that's a good first one. I'm happy with that first one. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to just switch the colors of the legs. and the boots. Like that. Uh, I just need that dark boot color now for the back boot. And then you can see this front leg here, if I protrude that up, you can kind of get a, an idea now that the back leg is the darker one. Now, the only thing is the arms are going to be swinging differently. So with the right leg back, this arm here is going to be a little bit more forward. So I'm just going to move it forward one. And then when it switches, that switches. Now I need an in-between here where the legs are pretty much on top of each other. And I'm going to put that at the end as well. And I want him to be slightly shorter when his legs are apart. So there. Again, I'll double up that pixel. Haven't doubled up that one. but I still kind of want that knee to be higher. Like right up there maybe. Yeah, that is, that's kind of better. Let's take that left knee right up there as well. Yeah, I, I much prefer that. Let's just play that on the loop. Yeah, that's kind of nicer. Um, I want the speed to be slightly slower because we're moving slower up the stairs. There we go. Now let's go back to the movement and say, if we're on the stairs, set animation to stairs. Play from the beginning and that should be enough. Um, but it's not. It's playing the walk. Why is it playing the walk? If we're on the stairs, set it to stairs. Okay. Because we're transitioning. Stairs. No? Still playing. Is it because, yeah, if A is down, set state to walk left. So. We need to have that condition that says if we're not transitioning. So let's push, let's select any one of these, push C on the keyboard, go to system, compare variable. If state is equal to transitioning, transition, transitioning, invert it. So if we're not transitioning, 
then we can play those. And then we know that if state is equal to transitioning, we set stairs. Is that going to work? No. Um, are we setting the state correctly? If on stairs, we need to set tr state to transitioning. I'm going to go system. I'm going to set value of state to transitioning. There we go. Now we're climbing the stairs and then we're not. Oh, but we did touch that. What is going on there? Oh, uh, hold on. It's not transitioning. Transitioning is when we're going through the door. That's, we just need to set state to stairs. Not transitioning. Oh. God, this episode is full of trial and errors. Set state to stairs, and then we can go back, change that animation to walk. Set state to stairs, if we're on the stairs, so we're not on the stairs. Um, uh, if we're on the stairs, oh yeah, it's because we need to change this up here as well to st not stairs, stairs, drag that down, change that to stairs. So if we're not crouching and we're not on the stairs and we're not attacking, A equals go right. Okay, but now we've got no, um, we've got no, um, pressing left simulation because we are on the stairs. Let's copy this whole block and paste it again. Change this to if we are on the stairs, then yeah, just press left because we don't need to change the state because we've already assigned it. We can do the same thing for D. Just change that one to uh, is on the stairs and delete that. I'm going to put a comment above this that says on stairs which reminds me why there's two of them same on that one on stairs there we go and we're good to go back down the stairs although that animation is not the best when i see it in action although maybe that's just because Maybe that's just because the stairs hasn't been animated yet. I mean, let's not let's not dwell on it too much now because there's many other things we need to put in and we are going to polish this up like you wouldn't believe. So for now, I'm not too worried. It's just changing something visually so we know it's working. If you've managed to do a better animation than me, then congratulations. Um, although I don't have him flipping around if I take my finger off of the A or D key. So let's put it in here. We can just set him mirrored. Set mirrored if we push A. That's just on the stairs. And again on this one, set not mirrored. Make sure that that's on the block that we just created, which is the stairs block. There we go. Well, I think the animation speed probably is a little bit slow. Let's put it back up to five, like the other ones were. Because we're slowing the player down anyway, which is the visual. There we go. That, that actually looks a little bit better, sped up. Well, I think there's an issue. If I get to the bottom here and keep holding left, he stays in that stairs until I let go. So we need to put in another line that is down here that says if we're not 
overlapping the stair zone set on stairs to false, which basically is this else statement. We need to go back into here and we need to go system and we need to set the value of state to nothing. So it will automatically assign whatever we're doing key press wise. So now I can hold down. As soon as I get off the bottom, I go back into walking mode, which is great. Let's save that. I'm going to leave it there. In the next episode, we are going to add in the, the destructible blocks. So when we whip them, they are going to break. Um, that's going to be a fun episode. We're going to add a couple of destructible blocks on here. Um, and then after that, we'll probably add in the pickups that drop from them, that spawn in and drop. Um, then we'll look at adding in some enemies. Um, we're going to at some point design this staircase. I may do it. Um, I may do that outside of the videos because I don't know if you guys want to see me design a staircase pixel art wise because it will be a long, <laughs> probably a long one just watching me move squares around until I get something that looks good. Let me know in the comments um, if you want me to design the staircase um, on video or if you'd rather I just design it off video and just crack on with the mechanics. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for sticking around uh, and suffering through this one with me. We've managed to now kind of get a bit of level in place. Um, more good things to come in the next episodes. Take care. Bye-bye.